Council, which is our NGC of the ODM Youth League, has deliberated on a number of issues, both internal and of national and of national importance. We made the following resolutions. Resolution number one, we support the position taken by the party on the impeachment of the governor of Migori County, His Excellency Honorable Okoda Bado, who is facing a myriad of cases of embezzlement of public funds. We call on the county of simply of Migori to expedite the exercise and have the governor soonest impeached. Number two, we support the BBI, we support BBI, which is a brainchild of our party leader, His Excellency uh, Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga, and His Excellency the President of, of, of this country, Uhuru Kenyatta. This is a good initiative which is aimed at uniting the nation, strengthening devolution, fixing election injustices, among other vices. Three, the ODM Youth League fully supports the recent changes in the National Election Board and the Disciplinary Committee and the ongoing reforms in elections and nomination rules in line with the recommendation of Professor Mumo Tax Force. Number four, we want to thank the party for appointing our own to the election board, Mrs. Cynthia Joy from Naro County. This is the first time a youth has been appointed to the election board, and we are very grateful. We pledge our full support to her as a youth league. Number five, we have impact on elaborate program called Chama Mashinani at all branches and wards. The aim is to activate youth league structures to attract more youths into the movement. We shall hold meetings at all counties under the auspice of Chama Mashinani and all our wards in this country. Lastly, we young men and women, the days when we were used as catalyst to violence are all gone. We focus on helping build a strong and a united Kenya. We therefore give notice to those leaders beating the drums of war with the aim of inciting Kenyans, and we tell them, war unto, unto you. We shall not be intimidated. Presidencies, presidency is not anyone's birthright. As a youth, we shall not be party to reckless, shameless, irresponsible ultrases by those who think they own or they above the law. Asanteni Sana. Today signed on 11th. Mimi naitwa Eric Changorok, toka West Pokot County, and neck member wa Orange Democratic Youth League. Na leo tumekuja hapa kuongea kuhusu mambo ambayo yanaendelea kule Rift Valley. Viongozi wanaongea mambo ya kutisha amani ya nchi. Sisi tumekaa hapa pamoja na viongozi kutoka kaunti zote za, za kutoka North Rift. Tukisema ya kwamba tunalaani sana vi, e, matamshi ambayo viongozi wetu wengine wanatoa katika media, kwa e, Facebook, all the media e, e, platforms. Ya kwamba wao wanaonge kwa niaba ya, ya watu wa Rift Valley. Rift Valley watu hawaongei wa, wa, wa mambo amba, na matamshi ya matusi, ya kutusi viongozi na, na watu ambao wanapenda matusi wanajulikana kwa Kenya hii. Kwanzia kwa party leader, yani chief mwananajita atia chief asla. Ana matupenda matusi sana. Na election yao ya jubilee tangu 2013, yote imekua, ilikuwa ni ya matusi na ya chuki na inajulikana. Ni vizuri sasa saisi, eh, the president eh, and, the, the, and the party leader Raila Odinga wamepanga ya kwamba BBI ifanye kazi kuunganisha wa Kenya. Lakini kuna wengine saisi unawana wanatembea kila mahali ata despite the issues ya code wanasema they are, they are spreading war tanks everywhere. So sisi kwanzea Turkana, West Pokot, Elgeo Marakwet, Wasinigishu, Samburu, eh, eh, Baringo tume 
kukusanyika hapa pamoja na tunasema ya kwamba hatutaki viongozi kama hayo na sisi tunaomba hata media houses zote wapatie hao watu black, uh, black, uh, blackout complete blackout hakuna haja ya kuonesha wa Kenya mambo ambayo mtu anaongea matusi na kutusi mpaka wanatusi wa mama ya watu sisi hatuwezi kukubali mambo kama hiyo kila mtu anaheshimu mama na ingekuwa ni mimi mtu amekusa mama yangu hiyo ningekuwa tumemalizana na yeye kwa mambo mengi kwa nyingine kwa hivyo mwenzangu wangu kutoka Turkana atasema jambo anaitwa Paul Lokoper mimi ndiye chairman ya North Rift ya ODM pia nikitoka sehemu za Turkana county yale ambayo nimekasirika ni mambo ya ambayo juzi hii mtu anaitwa Sudi alianza kutokana na boma ya Kenyatta na sisi kama waturkana sisi tunajua kabla 1963 tupate uhuru Kenyatta ametaseka lokitang wa mangina akifuata ye, akitaseka kwa malaga makiu akikaa njia wasungu wili wasiuwe hii mzee ametaseka bila hata mama ya sudi bila familia ya sudi sisi kama waturkana tunasema sudi kama unafuatana na ruto tafadhali uzilete matuzi katika turkana county Iyo ndio nimeambia sudi kabisa kama asulokopira as youth chama ndukana county. Hiyo maneno afanye lore na si asiweke turkana asiweke turkana county kama ati ni ati ni North Rift. Sisi wa turkana atotaki hiyo maneno na atotaki. Ya pili nitaka kuambia gavana wangu just part goal na noko. Waachana na hii timu ya, ya, ya kutokanana. Awaachane na noko naomba kama ndugu yangu, kama gavana yangu wa ODM, waachana na hii matusi hii timu ya kutokanana. Ka ka fanya kazi yako tulikuwa na kaunti. Wacha ukimbia kimbia Eldoret. Wacha ukimbia kimbia hiyo makanisa hiyo. Watu wanajifanya ni wakristo na kumbe ukristo ni kutoka na watu. Mimi kama hizi chama tulikuwa na kaunti. Nimeambia watu tulikuwa kuanzia Kapedo mpaka Kibishi, mpaka Lotere, mpaka Loyangalani. Mtu yeyote uwe ni ajibili, uwe ni ODM, uwe ni Tanga Tanga, mtu asitusi mtu yeyote. Kila mtu afanye Quran. Na and I want to challenge his excellency the deputy president. My friend, if you think you can ascend to the presidency and the top leadership of this country by creating anarchy and violence in this country, sisi kama vijana tumesema hapana. Uongozi unatoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu, kama Mungu hajakuandikia kwa mkono mmoja uwezi kujifanya mtu ambaye anaabudu Mwenyezi Mungu. And on the other hand, unatuma watu ambao wanajaribu kuleta furugu na vita katika hii nchi. Tunasema hapana. Uh, and as Kenyans ikifika hiyo wakati inshallah watajua the right person ambao watamchagua kama president na huyo ndo atakuwa kiongozi kwa hivyo uh, if you want to be in the opposition resign resign uende huko nje upatane na wanaume kama huko kwa serikali heshimu president heshimu hiyo presidency na heshimu serikali na ukae kwa amani kina sudi utapatana na wanaume kwa uwanja thank you okay. you know Uh, Governor Bado has been a member of the party for a very long time. There are many cases of uh, uh, gross misconduct that he has been accused of as a party. Mm -hmm. You remember that uh, during the very unfortunate incident involving the University of Rongo student, uh, the party took no decision at all. Uh, at this particular juncture, the reason that the party has had to take uh, action is because the courts have locked the governor out of office. Our biggest concern as a party is service delivery. You should always remember that ODM is the party in government in Migori. Mm -hmm. And you cannot claim that we have no say in the running of the county uh, in Migori. So in this particular instance, and I've made this clear, that uh, there are other ODM governors who have been charged in court, but nobody has stopped them from accessing their office, as is the case with uh, Obado. So we want to uh, give the deputy governor who has uh, suffered seclusion uh, by the regime uh, put in place by Obado. He has made it clear to the party that it will be impossible for him to continue acting as a, as a governor in the presence of the CECs that have been appointed by Obado. Nobody in the office in Migori pays him any uh, attention or respect. Even the Tigal uh, does not respect the current deputy governor. So he made it clear that if we were going to put him in a position where uh, he could actually work, then we had to give him a clean slate as a governor in Migori. Uh, this is a result of the consultations from the deputy governor himself, uh, the MCAs in Migori. They advised the party that this is the only way we are going to ensure service delivery continues in Migori. So uh, I don't think the premise of your question is right. Uh, my question.